Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode eight. I call this one, Legs. <laughs> okay. So I'm driving the bus and it's about midway packed and uh, I'm approaching a bus stop and the bus stop is really packed and it's rainy and it has a bus shelter and the people are squished together in there like sardines. And I was like, they're about to be squished into the bus like a can of sardines. And uh, I saw this man. It was real tall man standing on the outside of the shelter in the crowd of people. And sometimes people just stand out. But I made a mental note of him because he was dressed like a freaking lumberjack. And I know it was rainy, but he, he looked just like a lumberjack, y'all. He was, he was almost as tall as the bus shelter. And he had a wool, dark brown wool hat, a real thick winter uh, skull cap folded up, and he had a black and red checkered flannel shirt, and I see people wear those black and red flannel shirts, and, and those blue and red, I mean blue and black flannel checkered shirts a lot, but they was wearing those black and red ones at the time a whole lot, and some of the gangbangers were too, but he wasn't no gangbanger because he had a full beard, tall white brother, looked like a lumberjack for real, y'all swear no joke, he looked just like a lumberjack. So anyway, I'm servicing the stop. People are coming back then. Uh, we didn't have the machine that spits out the tickets like they do now. Back then, you had to rip off a ticket manually and punch whether they were an adult or a child or an honored citizen and whether this was for all day or, or for two hours. You know, you had to rip off the, had the time on it, 12-hour uh, clock. So anyhow, people are coming on. I'm... Hi, how are you? Good, good morning. Or how are you? How are you? Because I'm, I'm punching with the hole puncher and I'm ripping off tickets. And I saw him and I said, good morning, sir. How are you? And he came with this deep voice. I was like, oh, no. He's like, I'm fine. How are you? And I just something said, look down, Angie. I looked down at his feet. Y'all, this man had on some black stiletto high heel shoes. He had a Barbie doll legs and a black mini skirt on. And then from the way stuff, he was Paul Bunyan. And then they talk about Keep Portland Weird. You see this on signs and stickers, all bumper stickers and signs and billboards. I was like, they need to put this on the side of my buzz, okay? <laughs> Keep Portland Weird indeed. You should have seen them, y'all. Now, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not, look, I'm not a stranger to seeing men wear high heel shoes. But what I am a stranger is, is seeing men who look like lumberjacks Wearing stiletto, I mean tall black high heel shoes. I should get my high heel shoes and show you how tall it was. Tall as one of my, I'm talking about this tall, okay? Two inch stiletto. <sighs> so anyway, keep pulling weird. That was my first sighting of the lumberjack. And then somebody told me later that there's a group of guys who do that on purpose, who look that where that look just like Paul Bunyan without minus the, the, the jeans and, and work boots and they always have on stilettos and smooth Barbie doll sexy legs like that and then they have the scruffy beard and the and the wool hat wool knit I mean the wool uh winter hat. <laughs> so anyway thank you for sharing my story. That one was really short and that was called legs. Thank you. Remember that song, ZZ Top? She's got legs. No, he got, he got legs. Damn. Okay, all right. Stop. Thank you for watching Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street, Episode 8, Legs. See you on the next one. Bye.